wanna stay in the sun where I find I know it's hard sometimes Pieces of peace in the sun's peace of mind I know it's hard sometimes Yeah, I think about the end just way too much But it's fun to fantasize Hello YouTube It is Wednesday, February the 22nd 12.01 and 52 seconds and uh, I just want to elaborate on our trip that you guys seen in my last vlog. I know I said in the first video that I'm going to explain my life. Uh, that is true. I will. Uh, but I just kind of just want to take it as it goes in these videos. So you guys will see me talk more in depth about myself. Um, like today will be a video about this weekend. Explaining about what you seen in the last video. This one is my wife. Her name is Chantel. This guy, my name is Nick. And that's right, I'm looking at the camera at the mirror to so I can point <laughs> at my wife. <laughs> so uh we left there's when did we leave? It was actually technically Friday morning after my shift that ended at 11. <laughs> at 2 a.m. the next morning. Yeah, so my work had me working almost full time the weekend before. And so basically I had no sleep since Tuesday morning. And I had two essays that were supposed to be due. And yeah, so the night before we left to go to back to my home in Kitchener, Ontario, uh, I had no sleep. So we decided to drive Friday morning at 2.30 a.m. And I stayed up the whole day when we arrived in Kitchener. Isn't that right? Yes, dear. I was sleeping all over the place. <laughs> What are you even doing? I listen. Um, do <clears throat> you have anything to elaborate on? Um, what did you leave off on that you when we stayed up? Okay, all day Friday. Yeah, so we were exhausted. I was a horrible passenger. Let him drive all the way down, and I slept like I it was like narcoleptic sleep. Where like I couldn't even control it, I just was out, and then I'd wake up randomly for like seconds, fight the sleep, and then just knock right out. And a few times he probably thought I was unconscious because. Oh yeah, that's right. I was I was driving. We were going through Toronto on the express highway towards Kitchener, and my wife was sleeping, but I thought she was dead, legitly dead, because. What happened was that my mom passed away a few few years ago of cancer, and I just developed this phobia that whenever I see somebody sleep that I care about the most, every time I see them, I keep thinking that they're dead and something I just can't help. So I thought she was dead. So I'm freaking out. I'm shaking the crap out of her, and she wouldn't wake up. Yeah, it doesn't help that I like sleep like lead. <laughs> shaking the crap out of her. Her mouth was wide open, and she was not moving, and her hand was stiff. So I was freaking out, so I decided I was going to, like, drive off the highway to, you know, do what I need to do. And, yeah, so she woke up, thankfully. And that was my first scare of the trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First yeah. of many. Yeah. <laughs> I for sure just don't. I, I, I do sleep. It's, if any of you that are watching that know me, you, you see me sleep. When I'm like really tired, and I I literally have bad circulation, so like I feel like I'm dead too. It's terrible. So I'm sorry, babe. I apologize. <laughs> apologize. But yeah, the, so the trip was the, the trip was nice for me because I slept. But you know, poor guy, he had to stay up and drive the whole time, and then but we got there safely, thank God, and then um picked up we had to pick up some stuff, run some errands, and then went to we made a deal that Friday was going to be the day that I get to go and see everybody I want to see 
And then Saturday was the day that he gets to go and see, well, we'll go together and see all the people he wants to see and the stuff he wants to do. And I did nothing. Of course, because men don't like to plan. Just kidding. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so Saturday, after we went to the powwow. We went to Guelph to pick up our friend Kylie and I went to powwow. Um, well, we went to church, as you've seen in the video, we went to the church and... I terribly fell asleep, and this one has blackmail on me. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty, well falling she asleep. Put that in the video. <laughs> well, there, it, it, as you can see, a clip of me sleeping. My neck was like deformed, facing this way. It looked like a, a goose about to get into a fight, where the head goes here to here. But <laughs> yeah, so we went to church, and then I fell asleep. My home, I can swim. This all is not finished with me as yet. Anyways, after the church, we went to the powwow. And we were there for about two hours, but like usual, every time we go to the powwow, you don't ever have the taco salad because they just Indian run out. Indian taco. And us natives, we live off that. That is our four fruit groups. And if I don't get my salad, damn it. I'm telling you, end of the world for my wife. No, I was joking. Um, <laughs> end of the world for both of us, kids. That thing, once I tasted it, I was hooked. <laughs> so. Yeah, so after the powwow, we drove our friend Kali back to her house in Guelph and yeah. my brother back home in Kitchener. And we, well, so we ended up hanging out with Kali for, <laughs> for a while and then we came back and I just made the video. Saturday to upload it to you guys, which took me about a few hours. Uh, went to bed. It's a very typical trip, you know, spending time with family, running around everywhere, not really having time for yourself. Having like the every conversation. And worrying about your homework, waiting for you at home. University. Don't ever take too many classes because you suck if you do. You should tell them about how the reason why. Hey, um, you should just give them a disclaimer that the reason he fell asleep at church. By the way, was not gonna fall asleep at church, but the reason why. Oh yeah. Because he had not had not had much sleep, right? So he stayed up, picked me up from work that Thursday night, then drove all the way to Cambridge with no help from me, <laughs> um, and then stayed up all day. Running around, seeing all the lovely people in Cambridge, Kitchener, shout out. Um, and still, all the while, being very tired. And then, when we were trying to go to bed, that Friday night, um, the day before church, our car alarm kept coming off for some no reason at all. I don't know, we still up to now, I don't know what it was, but... I went soldier alarm. mode. I I fell asleep really early. Normally, I'm good for plugging in, plugging in my cell phone, my laptop, my my camera, and all that stuff. I plug everything in and I go to bed. But last that night, I actually fell asleep with my car keys in my pocket, my cell phone in my pocket, my wallet in my pocket, all my clothes on. Nothing was plugged in. I passed right out. I actually recorded myself snoring. If I had that clip, I would show you guys. But unfortunately, it accidentally deleted itself so yeah no blackmail on me it was really funny oh 2 30 <laughs> 2 30 and the alarm went off my wife's tripping balls and so i went in soldier mode and went outside to go investigate so i ended up just staying in the car for a while and i call her saying that i'm gonna turn the car off completely pull the keys out just wait for the alarm to go off and then press the key so that way we know something's wrong with the car. Nothing happened. So I waited for 15 minutes in the car and I go back upstairs and I, again, waited, fell asleep with my clothes on. Poor guy. I just forgot to mention, random sidebar, another video that you missed out on that he deleted by accident was <laughs> when he was at the park and tripped all over himself, <laughs> at, like into the snow, and like there was spectators. I missed it. But there's spectators. That video was hilarious. So, oh. I was doing my first video on this camera you're watching on right now, 
and um, I went to go to the bathroom, commentating my well, vlogging myself walking there and back. And there, you know, of course, the field has snow on it, and it's a big field. So, of course, the bathrooms are locked during winter. I didn't know that. And what happened was, is that I decided to take a step underneath a stick that was underneath the snow that was frozen to the ground out of the entire field. I trip on that stick. And it wasn't just like I fall to my side. It was like I do a full front flip and I do some weird split in the air and then I landed. But thankfully, I threw my camera kind of around so the camera didn't break. <sighs> so I get up brush myself off, act like it's cool, and the people that were spectating were like, dude, you okay? I seen you fall, and I told my wife not to look at you. It was all crazy, so <laughs> the video caught the whole conversation about what happened, and that was embarrassing, but I really wish I didn't, you know, delete that video because it was it was fun. It's you see my face in the camera all over the place, and I go, holy fuck. And he's, like, screaming all types of profanities. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Yeah. So we're going to wrap it up for here. I know it's short and it has to be, you know, within a, a short amount of time, I guess, we're recording a video. So I will talk more about this vacation on the next video and I will get more into my more in depth of the military life and what I did to get into it in case for you guys out there that are interested in joining the Canadian Forces. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I hope you guys... Thank you for having me. And a shout out to everybody in Cambridge and Kitchen Apple. Night falls with gravity. The earth turns.